Welcome to New England Crypto and East Coast Hardware. My name is Matthew. We are a crypto mining family. In today's video, we are going to be troubleshooting what has been until now my most reliable GPU mining rig ever. This GPU mining rig had worked flawlessly for almost two years until I had to shut her down a few weeks ago because we were having some work done in our basement. I turned her back on without hesitation as soon as they were finished down there last week. A couple of days later, I realized she'd never showed back up on Hive. I didn't think to check right away because she fired up and worked perfectly and had always been so reliable. So let's start with the basics and go on from there. We're going to clean her up and blow her out with the trusty old X-Power blower. We're going to reseat the RAM. We're going to check all the motherboard and GPU connections and see how she does. All right, we're going to go ahead and grab the X-Power blower, get this GPU rig out into the warehouse so we can blow it out. All right, let's get the X-Power blower hooked up and blow this thing out. I have one attachment that I really like for these things, especially for doing GPU mining rigs. Apparently I left it on last time. All right, I bet this thing's pretty dusty. We're gonna hold the fan for the CPU and the GPUs when we blow it out because we don't wanna blow the bearings on any of the fans. All right, she's all blown out. Let's get her back into the room, plug her in, and see if we can make anything happen. All right, she's all cleaned up and back into our mining room. We're gonna get them plugged into our pre-assembled meter box. It's made for 110 outlets, and we're gonna get her into the ethernet with this extra ethernet right here. Plug it in, let's see how we make out. One of the very, very strange things we've been dealing with is the H510 Pro BTC Plus mining motherboard has a very, very particular startup process where all of the GPUs turn on, shut off, and then turn back on one at a time. And it is doing that without crashing. It continues to run even for two days at a time like I found out this past time. But it's still not showing up on Hive. The five beeps let you know that there isn't a monitor attached. There are no other issues with the five beeps though. It's just fine. We'll let her boot up and see if we can see anything. As you can see, it still says that the rig's been off for 23 days. No matter what I do, I can't get it to show back up online. One of the very, very strange things is if I go to DX pool, you can actually see the CPU from this specific rig mining away on Monero, even though it's not showing up on Hive at all. That one has me stumped. I'm going to have to hit up Yeti and Rondi and see what the heck's going on with this thing. All right, I contacted Yeti and he said, first things first, let's see if we can get the shell to open. See what we got going on with this rig. So here we go. Let's see if we can show us anything. Is it a blank? What you mean blank? Oh boy. She's not working. We can't get into the shell either. All right, we are not having much luck. While we wait for Sir Rondi and Mr. Yeti to get back to us, we're gonna hook this little screen up to this rig to see if it has a different IP than what Hive is showing us because the IP in Hive isn't doing anything for us. Give me one minute and we'll check that out. 
Man, I love these little screens. All they need is an HDMI and USB connection to the motherboard for video and power, and you're good to go. Unfortunately, we're not getting anything out of this thing right now, so I'm gonna give her a little reset and hope that we get a little uh, more information next time. All right, motherboard's working, looking good. All six lanes are proper. Hive OS is starting to boot. That's positive. That only lasted a second. That's not positive. All right, we've got some more figuring out to do. All right, so with how Hive shows up for a second and then the screen goes to no signal, while we wait for Yeti and Rondi, I figure we'll unplug this thing from power, we'll reset the RAM and do all of the regular troubleshooting things that we would normally do. We'll also check the connection for the SSD, both power and to the motherboard, make sure nothing's wrong with that end. And then we'll check the connections on the power supply to make sure for some reason something didn't get loose. The weird thing is nobody touched the rig and it didn't move while it was shut down. But when we turned it back on, she did not work properly. That, my friends, is the beauty of GPU mining crypto. All right, let's give it another shot. See what she says. Nope, unfortunately, still the same issue. Now everybody's different, so every troubleshooting video you watch is not gonna be the same. My next step is to take all of the GPUs off, see if the motherboard shows up on Hive by itself, and then add the GPUs one at a time. There we go, fresh start for this motherboard. Let's fire her up and see if she's got anything left in her. All right, here goes nothing. As you can see, no GPUs detected at all. There's Hive, fingers crossed, she stays up for more than two or three seconds. Uh-oh, that's not good. All the GPUs are out, and she still won't stay on. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, I started to make a list of the next steps that I should take. And then I was talking to Yeti and we came up with an idea. How about we take this SSD over here off this rig that's been working fine. We throw it on here and we try to eliminate that one little thing. You never know, that could be just it.
Well, there goes that idea. We tried. Dang it. <clears throat> All right, guys, and I would love to be able to tell you more of what's going on here, but we've got Yeti and Sir Rondi remotely trying to check this thing out doing some stuff I have no idea about, so I'm just letting them go. That is them, not me. Very, very cool. This is the best goddamn community in the world. I love you guys. I'll give you all an update in just a little bit. Hopefully they can get it, and if not, we'll keep chugging away. All right, it looks like the fellas Flashed a new version of Hive, a little fresh flash on that same SSD. I'm going to get it up and running, make sure it's all good, and then I'm going to add some GPUs to the rig and go from there. Man, it would be awesome if that's all it is. Looks like we've got a little reset happening right now, fingers crossed, I'll let you guys know. All right, this is definitely the longest that Hive has been up since we started this mess. I think these fellas got it with that fresh flash to Hive. They remotely checked everything else with the rig and with our network. They did a remote IP scan so they could find it. This rig had a new IP from when I had shut it off three weeks ago, which is why it wasn't able to show up in Hive, but was showing up mining with the CPU in DX pool. Man, this is crazy. And that's them still remotely working on my rig. Thank you guys so much. The new Hive Flash seemed to work fine. So I'm gonna add these GPUs and go from there. All right, guys, when I'm troubleshooting, I don't usually put all the GPUs back on at once, but Yeti told me to throw them all on there and let's go. So here they are. My fingers are crossed. I'm doing a little bit of praying. Hopefully this all works. Let's see if Hive stays up for more than just a couple of seconds this time. Here we go, come on. Come on, baby, keep going. Oh, it's still going. That's the longest she's stayed running yet. Let's see what we got. What a day. We got her. Yeti and Rondi helped us out so much, they even did some overclocks remotely for us. So we are rocking. 361 mega hash on Ergo and 2 kilo hash on Monero on DX pool. Give a little refresh to make sure everything's all good. Yup, 10 minutes. It says we're doing 323 watts, but we know that's going to be a little under. So let's take a quick look at the meter box. Meter box is saying just over 460 watts. So that's really good to know. Thank you all so much for joining us. We appreciate each and every one of you. I hope this video helps a couple of people. It was a very interesting process. I did not have the dongle here to flash Hive on the SSD or reflash a fresh version. So Yeti did it remotely. He also sent me the instructions on how to do it remotely. So I'll leave those down in the description below in case that helps anybody else out. Please like and or subscribe on the way out and I will see you on the next one.